It's not a plant. It's not an animal. Actually, it's a kind of fungus that feeds on sugars, making alcohol. It's yeast. Heineken uses a special one all of its own, a carefully guarded secret since 1886. Yeast is one of the most important components in beer production because yeast converts the fermentable sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide, but also produces a lot of aromatic flavors which are in our beer. We call it happy yeast because we do everything in our power to make sure the yeast is in a perfect condition, in perfect shape, that is healthy, um, that is reproducing well and making the right kind of flavor compounds. Gerard Adrian Heineken knew that science could help uncover the mysteries of the yeast, so he built a laboratory dedicated to brewing. Dr. Ilian was a scientist hired by Gerard Heineken in the late 1800s to improve the quality and the process of making beer. At that time, beer making was quite artisanal. Um, people were not, uh, did not know um, why the variance in their beer was um, happening. They got the yeast out of their environment. Early brewers literally waited around for yeast cells to fall out of the sky and do their magic. Louis Pasteur changed all that. They learned from uh, Pasteur that yeast was um, uh, responsible for making alcohol and they selected this yeast and then built a process around this yeast specifically to uh, have a constant quality. The same AE strand has been producing Heineken beer ever since. Same yeast, same beer. So the yeast uh, used today is a clone of a clone of a clone that was uh, selected by Dr. Alien in 1886. Yeast is an organism that reproduces itself. Imagine a family tree on which every branch splits in two, and then they split in two, and so on and so on. These are the clones of the original yeast cells. After we thaw this culture in the, in the vial, we transfer the contents to a new flask, and we allow the culture to grow for a couple of days. Then we transfer it to an even bigger flask, and then we transfer it to the biggest vat here. So in the end, one of these small vials has the potential to produce uh, two years' worth of Heineken beer worldwide. That's over 30 billion litres of beer from one tiny vial. A great example of how they take the smallest ingredient and blow it up to mega proportions.